<laughs> hey, Chris, I know you, you caught up with our American uh, drivers. Man, tell us about that. That's awesome. And let's hear one of those. Yeah, I did. Um, so let's start with yesterday. And yesterday was a very good day for Jack Crawford in Formula 3. I've just walked past Red Bull's garage, and he's a Red Bull young driver. And he got his first win in Formula 3 yesterday. Uh, he just had a great job in the sprint race. He started near the front because it's a reverse grid uh, for qualifying. And he pulled a beautiful move on Kyle Collette, who's uh, an Alpine young driver, ran the outside of turn seven uh, and got, got his first win. Today didn't go quite so well for him. He was uh, running well and he got taken out on the late safety car restart in the wet with just three laps to go. So he would have scored points uh, and sadly ended up 22nd, I think, classified. But yeah. that's the way it sometimes Ooh. goes. So, um, yeah, I caught up with him after that race. And to be fair to him, he was pretty philosophical and still pretty positive over the way the weekend had gone. Jack, thanks so much for joining us here uh, before the Austrian Grand Prix. I know you're wanting to dash off fairly soon. We're in the support paddock where cars are coming back from the F2 race. Team's trying to pack up. Uh, you're ready to head home. But firstly, we'll start with sadly a negative with the way today went. You were having a great race in the wet. Uh, and then three laps from the end, the safety car restart, it all went wrong. What happened? Yeah, I had a really good race going. I was uh, in, I made up two positions on the, on the initial start of the race. And after that, it was hard to pass, but the, the pace was good. And then, um, yeah, on the restart, I had done a good restart. I'd basically gone up in the seventh already. And was uh, going around the outside of turn one, uh, try to get in the sixth, and uh, I think the guy in the ninth just came and he took out um, a guy on the inside, which you know then wiped me out. So um, yeah, that was a, a shame because um, the the pace was looking good and I had done a good restart. So yeah, I was I was watching it and it was all looking so so good. You'd driven really really well in tricky conditions as well. It was a, a lot of rain earlier, but. It brings to an end what had been a great run of consistency, and I guess you can still take heart from the performance, but you'd had eight straight point-scoring finishes up to then. So how pleased have you been with the way you've been driving? Yeah, I mean, I, I've been pretty pleased with how I've been driving. I think, um, you know, qualifying performance hasn't been great. Um, I think it's more luck-based than anything. Um, you know, like on, on qualifying this weekend, we just got caught out by the red flag, um, wasn't able to set a competitive lap time on the second run so I, I think I'm pretty happy with my performance and I'm happy with the car as well I mean um, we were quite quite quick yesterday uh, in the sprint race and then obviously quite quick in the wet as well so I, I'm pretty happy with everything and I think you know it gives me a lot of confidence for the second half of the season so well, you say quite quick yesterday in the sprint race. I'd say that's an understatement because the reason we're stood here chatting is because you won yesterday's sprint race, your first win in Formula 3. Just how good did it feel? Yeah, I mean, it felt really good. Um, I, I'd come so close a couple of times. I mean, I had um, second in, in Imola, second in uh, Barcelona. I got second last year in, in Spa in the sprint race. So um, I'd been close numerous times, um, but it never really all came together. And and yesterday was one of those races where, you know, I had the opportunity and um, I really wanted it and, you know, I took it. So, so yeah. Well, just for anyone who maybe didn't see that race, I want you to talk through the key moment in it, which was the opportunity you took by taking the lead, running outside of turn seven, high speed left hander here, where for anyone listening, Lewis Hamilton crashed in qualifying. So it's a tricky corner. I mean, how sweet was that move? Yeah, it was definitely one of my favorite moves um, I've ever done, especially since it was for the lead of the race. So, um, you know, I was really happy um, with that move. And, you know, my engineer was saying, like, it's the best move of the season. So, um, so yeah, quite happy about it. And, you know, I think up until that point, my racecraft hasn't been great. But I think, you know, um, yesterday I, I definitely made a step. So You mentioned though, that you, you had the second at Spa last year. You've had a couple of seconds and a third this year already. And you've had consistent point scoring. But does the win kind of give you an extra boost, a bit of confidence that, that you can do it and, and put you right in the frame of mind that every weekend you can be chasing wins? Yeah, I think it does. I mean, um, you know, it's all about being up there and, and being with the chance. Um, we'll see how Budapest goes because obviously you can't really overtake at Budapest. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But otherwise, yeah, it just it gives me um, confidence now. I got that little that monkey off my back, sort of um, that I don't have that pressure that I that I haven't won yet. So you know, hopefully um, we'll get a few more. Yeah, well, I mean. A few more would really put you in the title race as well. You're 28 points off the lead right now. How do you see that? Is the title on your radar this season? Yeah, yeah, definitely going for the title. I mean, um, 
it's, we're only halfway through the season, actually. Um, it felt like the season's about to end, actually. But we're only halfway. I mean, today was a big points loss for me. Um, I mean, I, I could have ended up with, you know, 10 points um, had I finished in the top five. So, so yeah, it hurts the points. Um, but, yeah, we just have to make it all up. Yeah, I mean, you've shown that you've got the performance to do that as well this season with the earlier performances. So what do you think is going to be the key to really giving you a chance of winning this championship? I think um, scoring big on, on the feature races. I mean, top top twos, top threes, um, qualifying well. I think, you know, there's so much points in the feature race that it's really important. So, um, so yeah, we're going to have to really score big in the feature feature races. And was that the target coming into this year to fight for the championship or has it kind of changed with the way you've performed? Yeah, I mean, the target was going into the championship, uh, obviously being with, with Prema, their team that can fight at the front and I knew I'd have an opportunity. But um, but yeah, I mean, after Bahrain, it was sort of looking out of the picture and then Emola, it just completely switched and um, I was sitting up in... In, in third in championship um, at one point. So, so yeah, I mean, uh, definitely aiming for the championship. Yeah, yeah and um, you're fifth now, so, you know, still right there in the mix at the front. But you mentioned Budapest coming up, very different circuit to here. You got to race there last year in F3. What are your hopes for that one? Yeah, I think um, just qualify well. I mean, especially for the feature race, since um, will be difficult to pass. Um, see how the weather is in summer in, in Europe. I mean, every time I've been to Budapest, it's rain, so we'll see how it is. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, just looking to qualify up near the front and, and, and be in a good position for the future race. So. And just finally, you are part of the Red Bull driver program. I mean, what have Red Bull been saying about your performances so far this season? I mean, they must have been delighted with yesterday's result. Yeah, I mean, they were, they were pretty happy that I finally got a win. Um, I mean, they're not putting any pressure on me or anything, so it's not a a whole big deal um, but but yeah otherwise I mean they're they just want me to, to keep progressing as a driver and uh, you know they want me to push push towards the championship so well we look forward to seeing if you do that thanks very much for your time Jack and uh, good luck in Hungary thanks